Why, why? Why are you going up and checking people's IDs for? I mean, we could do an extra screen. You travel around the airport and do things. But I mean, we've already been screened and had to give our yeah, ID. Come in. Find school You're trying to see if anything was missed. Really? So the, the first person that saw his ID didn't maybe recognize him or what? No. And what? Just double check it. But why, why are you have to double check that for? Because we just. But, I mean, I'm trying to figure way. out how. Y'all had somebody at the front that checked all our IDs, and then now you're doing it a second time. Why? But it didn't hurt to everybody. Huh? I'm just trying to, because it's... Well, we can't, because you don't know what you're doing. I mean, it's sad. We've already been through security once, and we've got to go through it again. That's what makes Barack Obama president twice. You know, we're not going to get frisk again, too, or no? No no frisking? What about y'all going to tell us to freeze? You seen the dog? They told you about the dog thing. But they tell everybody to freeze, everybody wants to stop. You seen that happen? Cool. That's that's good. You're just gonna check people's IDs, make sure nobody's nothing's been missed, right? That's interesting. Can you check my ID? Hmm. It's random, right? Well, how do you choose whether or not to, to randomly check somebody? Instinct? What? You just. <laughs> Just do it, just completely random. You all are going to check people's random check bags like they did in, um... Cool. And what, 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 what decides checking somebody's bag? Oh, ah, cool. Can you frisk anybody you want to? Nope. Oh, the badge doesn't give you that privilege then, huh? No, I can do a pat down, I'm a woman. Oh, cool. You enjoy doing that? Taking your service passenger. Okay. That's good to know. Uh, I did. Sample. You know it's sexual assault. Sample. Don't you? Your service passenger. Sample. It's sexual assault. You know, if, if I if I were to touch another man the way and one of the guys would frisk me, uh, you know, that, that would be considered sexual assault. Would you agree or disagree? Good morning, 5542 Phoenix, you're getting a report. Right. When you purchase the ticket, you're open the floor. Well, no, no, that's, that's, that's not true because just because TSA has a policy, you know what the Constitution is? Do you know, do you know what the law is? Okay, like, like I have a business, and if I create a policy that, that I can kill people, you know what happens when I kill somebody? I go to jail. Yeah, okay? We have a, it's a, a need to it's the same thing, though. Just because you guys have created a policy, that policy can't break the law, and it can't break the Constitution of America. Which is you would do, if, you, if you read through it all. No, it does. When, when, you, when you run your hands up and down another man's legs, that's sexual assault. Okay, and that breaks the law. That breaks the law. So okay? It, it, no, it doesn't. It, 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 how does it not? How, how does it not? Look, your flight. You know that you're coming here to get checked. We have a I know need to, we have a need to yeah, inspect people to make sure that something doesn't get on board. Okay, but by doing all this, how many terrorists have you caught? We've we've stopped and prevented. You've caught them. zero. Me Do you know how many this is? Zero. Nada. No, we nada. Nada. Well, then y'all 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 don't tell us that. We don't need to know that. So that's security, right? I got you. That's security. That's cool. I'm always fabulous, and you? Excellent, sir. What's going on today? Anything good? Nah. Just keeping you guys in check. Keeping me in check? Yes, sir. All right. Keeping I'm you in check. I'm just trying to figure out why we've already been through security once, and then why you're asking us for IDs again. We do additional security screening. have been doing that since 2007. Okay. It's a random inspection. They don't select every flight. Obviously, they never selected your flights in the past. No, sir, they haven't. Well, it's been going on for about five years. And uh, we just uh, make sure that uh, everything's getting caught and everything's getting done. So for some reason, if we miss one down there, we'll catch it here. So why do you need to see my ID again? Because that's what they've asked us to do. And that's mandated from upstairs. Maybe out of Washington. Just following orders, right? I just follow the orders. Follow orders. Follow orders. Of the follow and orders. But tell me this, because this really bothers me. You know, downstairs, when y'all do the pat down. Yes, sir. Um, how is, you don't, how is you that? don't do the pat down for what? Pat down for what? When, 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 when you opt out of the full body that's scanner. A, that's an operational procedure. It's prescribed out of, 
out of uh, our headquarters. That's right, but, but, that's nothing local. But, but, but still, though, but to, to, to touch another man's private parts, it would be considered sexual assault. I mean, you guys have policy. I, I understand that. But when your policy breaks the law and, and goes against the Constitution of America, I mean, again, I, like, I have my own business. Now, listen, you're, you're sitting on the fine line. No, but uh, I have my own the business. The Constitution is protecting private industry. That's Delta Airlines and all the airlines. But, but again, so how do you make it so that it's a fair policy? Because I have a, I know, I'm my, own, my own business, and if I create a policy that I can kill people, I can just go shoot people. And you know what happens when I go kill somebody? It's against the law. It's against the law. When, when you touch my private parts, but that's against the law. No matter how, any way you look at you it. You have the option not to fly in a private plane. Again, just that's because... Privately owned uh, industry. You so have that, the option, though. So, so that's what you're, you're all saying is because... No, because the Constitution you, says it's going to uphold the rights of Americans. And well, what, about unlawful, what about unlawful search and seizure, the Fourth Amendment? Okay? I mean, that is completely, totally unlawful search and go seizure. Go into the small print when you buy the ticket. Okay. Because you you've submitted yourself to that. Search. To the tyranny. To the search. The tyranny. Because you don't have to buy a commercial airline ticket. You can fly a private plane and never be touched. Okay. So that, that, that when you buy the fine line, that's what's prescribed. And that's what you agreed to. And that's what the airlines wanted the government to do was save their butt because they didn't want people to hijack the planes and fly them in the building. How many terrorists have we caught since 9-11? Terrorists? Yes, sir. Or incidents? Terrorists. How many have we caught? Probably Zero. Three. Three? Who? Are you talking about the, the underwear bomber? Because that, that, okay. again, well, which three? It's, it's a needle in a haystack, though. You've well, got 3.3 3 million people. Which, which three are you talking about that we call? I'm not going to talk in terms of security clearance. Right uh, so that, that's secure, though? It is secure. I have okay. the clearance, and you don't. Okay. So we've caught three tears. Absolutely. Wow. I sat there and watched. Had a lady the other day take her clothes off. It happens every day. I don't want you to touch me. She took her clothes off. Happen right down check one one. I don't tell them to do that. That's not anything in our verbiage. But again, I mean, I've never been touched by another man, okay? And I don't want to be touched by another man. Okay, so you're saying I shouldn't fly then. If that's the I'm case... I'm saying you shouldn't fly commercial airlines. Okay. Because there are other avenues to get there. Okay. All transit right now in transport in the United States, bus, boat, air, all, even trucking. Your trucks are getting inspected all the time for shipping. All fall under the federal administration of transportation security. So is that why TSA now is at the bus stops? Is they're out everywhere there? now. They're, 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 I've read recently they're even at senior prompts. Why, why, why would you, why would you want to, why would you want to go to a prompt? I can't even comment because I don't know about what you're talking about. I'm not even privy to that. Mine is strictly air aviation is where I my emphasis. And then for all the election stuff uh, with, with Romney and whatnot, TSA was at, at a bunch of his conventions. I mean, why, why is TSA there? You would think the FBI, the CIA would do that. Why would they need TSA to come in and do that? I have no idea about that either. I didn't yeah. get to go. Why was TSA there? I have no idea. But we do have a TSA will be walking through here and will yell out, freeze! Why? I don't have an idea what the person did. No, this is it, various airports throughout the country that they're, they're telling people to freeze and, and everybody stops. That's at the checkpoints. And it's been out in the, in the we open. Don't, we don't do it in the concourse. We do it on checkpoints. They hire everybody to freeze. I mean, that's like dog training, is it not? We actually yell freeze. Going in and, and swabbing people's drinks that they bought. I don't do that. For, for, why are some of the other agents, agents doing this? I don't do that. So you guys don't do that here at Salt Lake? All of that is additional levels of security. And that's how they address everything in which I do. That's interesting. It's all layers of security, and that's what we're involved in. But, um, young man, my call was, was it, you know how they call me? Mm -hmm. Got a guy filming. But that's, see, I, I have my right to film. Y'all say it on your website. As long as I'm not disrupting. As long as so we can back up the film that's over here, and we'll find out what you were filming. Right, cool. And, but that's not what I wanted to do. I'm telling you, don't do that. Now, tell, tell me why you tell me not to do that. Because, I mean, because you guys... Procedures you, you, are not really supposed to be the public domain. Those procedures are, are procedures of asking people for their ID. Now, come on, that's not doesn't a, 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 what a the procedure. procedure. doesn't matter what the procedure is. It's a security procedure. Then you all need to clear that up on your website, because your website clearly states that you can film. You can film. TSA. So you're, you're, you're saying you're filming your friends. You know. How come your friends are in TSA uniforms? That's my question. Well, I mean, again, it'd be different if the TSA agent... folks know you. They called uh, me Again, you. if the TSA agent was by himself and I was filming just him, then you'd have an argument. But, but, but amongst people, I, I mean, I can't help if they're standing out there in front of uh, other people. 
You know that, and I know that. I'm just you know. Wait, what you're doing when you're filming a security procedure, because that is a prohibited zone. Okay. And that, and that is on the website. Okay. You can film people, but you can't film security. That is on the website, and that is clarified. Go read it. Okay. I, I will pull that up when I get back. Because you can't go ahead and violate security. So you're saying me filming security may be no, a okay. violation no, no. of my security because it, it weakens my security if everybody's going to put all this on YouTube. Not what the folks are doing, but all the procedures, all the equipment and everything. You can't film all that stuff. Well, tell me this. If, if my wife was going through TSA and she was being opted out. I don't have a problem. You can film your wife. But, but if your agent is, is free, frisking you can her. You film your wife. I can film my wife with Did the agent there. Is your wife there. with you today? It, no, no, no. Sir, she's not. But, but, but my wife was in there being touched by the, the, the officer. I could film that thing, correct? If that's what you want to do, I have no problem. So I could film that thing, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Gotcha. Okay. Absolutely. Anything else for me? No, I just ask you just kind of, you know, be watchful of what you do. Okay. Um, I'm not here to give you a bad time, and I'm really not here to be your enemy. I'm going to make sure you're flying. Well, and again, we want but to keep you guys in check. But why I do things, I really am not at liberty to tell you all of the uh, ramifications of the security. Because then it wouldn't be security no more. I understand that. But again, we, somebody has to keep you guys in check too, you know, and that's what the camera's for. And if you, you know? don't like a procedure, or you're not comfortable with a procedure, you can tell these folks here they can't do anything about the same as I can. But you can go high because those are the people that write those procedures. It doesn't come off the floor. It's coming above uh, us. And again, you you're, guys you're understand. In the wrong tree. You're following orders. I understand that. But there comes a point when, when orders are wrong that we have to stand up for what's right. And we know that in our heart, you know, so, you know, no matter, I mean. How many men are serving officers the military? Cool. Not serving the country. Gotcha. It doesn't mean I always am going to agree with a hundred percent, that's right. Uh, okay. Where is that, Birmingham? No, that's in the other place. Which place oh. do you want to be? Um. Do you, do you need to know that? I just asked where you headed. Uh, I don't care what flight number. Where you headed? Well, Obviously not that one. Again, why, why, what, what, what reason do you need to know? Making conversation. Making make conversation no, to make my, life more di make my life more difficult? No. Or what? No. Yeah, because that's, you know, I, I, I wanted more difficult than I really was suspecting. I would be getting your ID and all that, and we'd be doing an incident report. I don't have an incident. Oh, because because I haven't done anything wrong. I mean, I, you know that, and I know that. I, I know my rights, and I know the laws. And, and, and what I've done is not a breach of security, you know, in any form of the fashion. I already went through this downstairs, you know, so. You walked out of your machine and get patted down. Unfortunately, I couldn't. I, I tried to. I had um, my, my quarters in my pocket. I had my change in my pocket. And, and I wanted him to try to make me go through the full body scanner, but he didn't. You know, he, he let me go through the metal detector. So I, I wanted to, 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 but he, and then the metal detector didn't go off. Why did that? Why, why did the metal detector not so go why off? Do you want to, why do you want to be obnoxious? Why do I'm you not being obnoxious. Why do you want to I'm do not that? being why obnoxious. Do I'm not being obnoxious. Again, well, why did the metal detector not go off? I mean, the, the, you guys need to look into that then. I don't have a clue what you know, I wasn't there. You, you, need, you need to look into that. You know, that this is to help you guys. That's where you go ahead and you want you guys to be helped, and you need to be writing to the people who do those things. Or where, I have no control over that. Again, you're going much higher. I got it. all the scenarios, but I wasn't there personally, so I can't handle that scenario. See, I, I wanted to, to have to be told to go through the body scanner, so I could opt out. Because you wanted to be patted down. No, I didn't want to be patted down. I wanted but to get a film. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to get a film, though. <laughs> Uh, but, but, but the procedure can be to assault me, though. I mean, again. Okay, as you saw there, um, I told the TSA agent um, that I went through the metal detectors with my $10 with the quarters, with my change, with my pen camera, and the metal detector did not go off. Uh, why did it not go off? Did these guys cut the metal detectors off, um, or did they fail is the question. Thank you. Let's see.